What do all these shapes have in common? They are all considered parallelograms. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the properties of a parallelogram. A parallelogram is a 2D plane shape. It contains only straight lines. It's also considered a quadrilateral, so it has four sides and it's a closed figure. The opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides are also congruent or equal. Opposite angles are congruent. Consecutive angles are supplementary and they add to 180 degrees. The diagonals bisect one another and they cut each other in half. Diagonals bisect the angles and they create opposite congruent triangles. A trapezoid is not a parallelogram because by definition it only has one pair of parallel sides. A circle is not a parallelogram because it has curved lines. And how about a triangle? No, because it has three sides, not four. A rectangle, which is a parallelogram, has two pairs of parallel sides and four congruent angles. A rhombus has four congruent sides, but only the opposite angles are equal. Not all four, but they can be. So if you combine the rectangle and the rhombus, you get a square with four congruent sides and four angles. The area of a parallelogram can be find, found using base times the height. And remember, the height is at right angles or perpendicular to the base. So area is base times height. The perimeter of a parallelogram, which is the distance around the edges, you can either add all four sides or you can use two times the base plus the side length. If you'd like to know more about quadrilaterals, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.